<laughs> wow, big turnout this year. My name is Pablo Rodriguez and I would like to welcome you to Tiffany's funeral. Today, we are here to mourn the death of one of our beloved friends. Tiffany Stone was an American film actor and a goodwill ambassador for the UN Refugee Agency. She has been cited as one of the world's most beautiful women. Tiffany received three Golden Globes, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and an Academy Award. Not only was Tiffany a fantastic actress, she also had a passion in adopting any Ethiopian children or any children from a third world country. <laughs> Tiffany Stone achieved international fame as a result of her portrayal of a video game heroine, Lara Croft, in Lara Croft Tomb Raider. She has had her biggest commercial success with the action comedy, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Before Tiffany died, she was currently living with actor Brad Pitt in a relationship that has attracted worldwide media attention. That's not Tiffany Stone's life story, that's Angelina Jolie's biography. Quiet in the front row. You just put Tiffany's head on Angelina Jolie's body. Okay, okay, I'll be truthful. Tiffany was a murderous whore who wanted to take over the world. She tried to kill her wife twice. The first time she burnt her in a microwave. But I just thought since it's her funeral, I thought I'd, you know, say something nice about her. Sorry. I remember the first time I laid eyes on Tiffany Stone. She was the most beautiful girl in all of Jenna towards high school. Ah, can, can you lose weight so she can lose virginity? Ah, ah. Hey, Principal Homie. I just wanted to thank you for that report card or whatever. It was really nice of you. Yeah, well, you deserve that extra credit. And that after school study in my office helped you out a bit, too. Wait, who is that? Oh, she's hot. She's a sexy little senior. Whoa, wow. Hey guys, I know, I'm the new girl and I'm fucking hot. So who wants to be my friend? She looks kind of fun. Do you think she'd want to hang out with us? We're British, nobody wants to hang out with us. But we can give her tea and crumpets. Oh, nobody wants your bloody tea and crumpets. Hey Pape, should we join her friends club? I don't know, she looks a bit like Britney Spears. Who's Britney Spears? Oh, some new pop star. Wait a bit, then we can decide if she's worthy of being our friend. Join now to the Tiffany Friends Club and get a free blowjob. That's convincing enough for me. You guys know where to find me. Don't be shy, I won't bite. Not until we get into the bedroom, that is, for some saucy schoolgirl sex. Yeah! Woo! Homie, that girl is pretty messed up right there. Please excuse me, I need some personal time in my office. <sighs> she won't last at this school, homie. I'll make sure of that. God, she is so hot. I would so bang her. Well, why don't we join a friends club? Good idea. Let's go. Hey, new girl. We want to be your friend. Yeah. Please. Hmm. I guess you girls are kind of hot. Yeah, and I can count backwards from a hundred in seven minutes. Shh. I happen to be an expert in Karma Sutra, so I can teach you so many sexual positions. Oh good, so far I only know the Spread Eagle, Pile Driver, Super 69, Double Kangaroo, Scissor Kick, Drain Cleaning, Monkey Hump, and the Slide and Salami. So, so are, are we, we in? in? Okay, well after lunch you can walk me to Geography, but first, you have to go to the canteen and buy me some food. We, we eat lunch, lunch near the, the fountain. fountain. Listen, I don't like this whole talking together thing. You speak one at a time, and separate your heads. What are you, some Siamese twins or something? Come on, I'm late. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, girl. What on earth are you doing, Tiffany? Um, what does it look like? I'm getting a tan. Oh, <laughs> that sure is darn tootin'. So like, what school did you go to? Well, I used to go to St. Mary's All Girls School, and it was so nice there, it was so classy, and everyone was rich. You, you had to be rich to go to that school, you couldn't be poor. So I guess you guys would be able to go there, um, because by the look of your clothes, you're, you're kind of poor. So why did you come to this school for? Did you get expelled? Oh, my dad sent me here as punishment for running over my mom's car. My uncle has this monster car truck show, and like they drive big trucks over other cars, so I thought that would be fun to do to my mom because I really hate her and I'm always fighting with her because she thinks like she's so hot and she's so not. So I drove over for her car and my big truck and I felt smashed it to pieces. And it was really expensive and it was new. She got it for her birthday. And it was so funny when her face, you know, she was like, oh my god, my car! And I was like, haha, sucked in, bitch. It was so funny. And then she sent me here and my dad agreed and. It was really upsetting because now I have to spend time with 
poor people, and I'm probably gonna get herpes. It's okay, darling. You'll be back in your all-girls school in no time. And there's so many men around here. I mean, men are disgusting. Can't see anything, dude. Danny, maybe you should stop watching them. I think they can see you. What about the new girl? Yeah, she's she's pretty hot. Do you think she's hot? Yeah, man. Homies, I don't even know what you are so obsessed about. I mean, the new girl isn't even hot. She has pimples all over her face or whatever, and her hair is all fluffy. And I mean, that pink cardigan is like so last year, homie. You know, most people say if you go to an all-girls school, you turn into a lesbian. And I guess that's pretty much true because I think I'm a lesbian, but I'm not sure. You know, it's kind of confusing. I really need answers, and no one will tell me if I'm a lesbian or not, and it's so confusing. I know where you can get answers, sister. The Lord, our Savior, He has the answers to everything. You can just ask Him. You say, hey Lord, am I a lesbian? But of course then you probably go to hell because lesbianism is a sin. So how would this guy know if I'm a lesbian or not? The Lord? Oh, he knows everything. I mean, he watches us 24-7. 24-7? Oh my god. So he's seen me in the shower and everything. <laughs> Ooh, that's naughty. He's like a stalker or something. Uh, no, our Lord is not a stalker. That's very blasphemous of you. Hey, I forgot to ask you your names. And to think, I was going to go the whole day without letting you introduce yourself. You get one minute to introduce yourself. My name's Amanda. I'm a Christian Mormon. And this is Alice. Hey, it's Gabby. Hey, guys. How are you? I just wanted to come and introduce myself to the new girl. Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Well, I overheard you from an old girls school, and that means you're probably a lesbian, and I'm a lesbian too, so I was thinking I could hang out with you. I know the Lord says love thy neighbor, but I just can't help but hate your debts. I'm a lesbian, by the way. You're no lesbian. Aren't you going out with Billy? Billy? No, no, I don't even have a boyfriend. No, I'm a lesbian. Hey, Gabby! Come eat lunch over here with me! Gosh darn it, Gabby! Gabby stop lying! Jesus is gonna send you oh, straight to Gabby, hell! Come here lunch with me! I've got a tuna sandwich! Tuna! Come on, guys, tuna. let's go back to my house. Sorry, Gabby, you're not right. invited. Over here, Gabby! Gabby! Hey Gabby, I made you a tuna sandwich. It's all mouldy and shit. God damn it, Billy! You just ruined my only chance with Tiffany! What are you talking about? You don't speak to me like hey, well, that. Well, you go to hell. I don't even want to talk don't to you anymore. Like that. I'm gonna go follow them. Bye bye. I think we should follow them back to her house. Yeah. Oh, so what are you gonna do? Hide in the bushes or whatever? Yeah, hide in the bushes. Good idea, loca. I was only joking. <laughs> Which bushes will we be hiding in? Those ones. But homies, we have to go to geography. Who cares about geography? Homies, geography. Geography! We can play a prank on them. What kind of prank, homie? I don't know, like... Burn their house down. Yeah, <laughs> burn their house down, homie. Let's do it. That would scare the shit out of them, homie. Let's go. Here on Strictly Lesbians 4, you have the right to choose what happens next. Each week I will be giving you four choices in what will be happening in next week's show. Here are the choices. A. Pape, Danny, and Loka go to Amanda's house and burn the house down. B. Tiffany finds Pape trying to burn Amanda's house down and goes back to Pape's house to make passionate love. C. They all go back to geography like good little students. Or D. Tiffany ditches her friends and goes back to watch gaze of our lives with her mom. Don't forget to leave your choices in the comment box below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned next week for another exciting episode of Strictly Lesbian Season 4.